Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Simon Wright. I am the Director of Programming here at Japan House London. And uh, we have a very special event with us today, exploring the delicate craftsmanship of wagashi, of Japanese sweets, featuring confectionery artist Kikiyami Yasuhiro. Today, in addition to our in-person audience here at Japan House, we are also broadcasting to a virtual audience on Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, X, and LinkedIn. So a warm welcome to everybody watching us online. The event is being recorded and a recording will be archived on our social media platforms following this event. We shall also be taking photographs this evening. So if you do not wish to have your uh, photograph taken, please do let a member of staff know. Tonight's event is part of a series we are delighted to be holding in collaboration with Toyama Prefecture and the Japan National Tourism Organization, shining a spotlight on the culture of Toyama and in particular that of wagashi, an art which has flourished in Toyama Prefecture alongside the development of chado, the Japanese way of tea. The event features special guest Kikiyama Yasuhiro, a confectionery artist from Toyama Prefecture. And during the event, Hikiyami-san will discuss his fascination with wagashi, as well as his efforts to take on new challenges to create wagashi that are relevant to people today while respecting time-honored traditions. The talk is followed by a sweet-making demonstration session during which Hikiyami-san will create one or two custom wagashi on the spot in response to any audience requests. So get your thinking caps on. And lastly, there'll be an opportunity for guests to ask the questions at the end. Questions are also welcomed from our guests watching online on Zoom, who can submit questions using the Zoom question and answer function. But before we hand over to Hikiyami-san, I would first like to introduce the Vice Governor of Toyama Prefecture, Yokota Mika, who will give us an introduction to this prefecture, a hidden gem facing the Sea of Japan. Will you please welcome Yokota Mika? Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Konbanwa. Uh, I'm Mika Yokota, Vice Governor of Toyama Prefecture. Thank you for coming to this talk by a wagashi chef from Toyama. I'd like to give you a brief introduction to Toyama Prefecture, where Chef Hikiyami's re revered wagashi shop has been for four generations. Toyama, uh, Toyama Prefecture is home to majestic nature, diverse history and culture, crafts, arts, and warm-hearted people, rich seafood, and field and mountain produce. Uh, this is a Tateyama mountain range with a 3,000 meter high summit. In spring, you can find roughly 20 meter high snow walls known as uh, Yuki no Otani, a breathtaking view that you won't find anywhere else. The Murodo area at the base of the Tateyama mountain range is suitable for both mountain beginners and advanced climbers. Murodo is located in the middle of the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine route, which is a world-class mountain tourism route at the top of height, reaching 2,450 meter high. This is Gokayama Gashozukuri. This village is famous for its style of roofs shaped like people praying with their hands together. It is listed as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Its style has been passed down over 300 years and people still live there today. Visitors can, can also feel Toyama's traditional lifestyle in the mountains. Toyama's food, uh, has high quality, especially seafood. Seafood is very free and fresh thanks to 
1,000 meter deep Toyama Bay with fresh snow melt water flowing into it. Toyama Bay sushi will definitely satisfy you. Toyama, located in the center of Japan, facing the Sea of Japan with easy access from Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, and Nagoya. It takes two hours from Tokyo by bullet plane, train and one hour by plane. For those, those of you who have not yet been Toyama, please visit the experience all of Toyama's charms for yourself. And we hope those of you who have been to Toyama will visit again to experience Toyama as it evolves and feels its charm in different seasons. Thank you very much again for your attendance today. And we are looking forward to you coming to Toyama and having special experience. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yokota-san. I would now like to welcome our speaker for this evening, Kikiyami Yasuhiro. Kikiyami Yasuhiro is the fourth generation owner of the Hikiyami Kogetsudo, a renowned confectionery manufacturer founded in 1919 in Takaoka City in Toyama Prefecture, which creates a wide range of confections from sweets for chanoyu tea gatherings to more experimental creations. He is a highly skilled wagashi craftsman whose mission is to increase the interest in the making of Japanese sweets, wagashi. He is active in a wide range of activities to promote the appeal of Japanese confectionery culture, giving demonstrations and teaching workshops throughout Japan and overseas. And Hikiyami-san will be speaking in Japanese with interpretation by Air Kurosawa. Will you please join me in welcoming Hikiyami Yasuhiro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Kiyami Yasuhiro. I am a confectional and wagashi confectional artist. えー、自分は和菓子屋の4代目として生まれましたので、間近で和菓子職人の仕事をずっと見てきました。I have always wanted to be a wagashi artisan because I could see that how wagashi could make people smile and make them happy by creating something so beautiful and delicate. Uh,そんな和菓子の魅力を皆さんにお届けするべく今日は、え、富山からやってきましたので、よろしくお願いいたします。I came here all the way from Toyama to talk about the appeal of those wagashi. So, um, thank you everyone for coming. First of all, I would like to introduce a little bit about the culture and wagashi culture in Toyama. Toyama, as you can see, is listed in red on this map of Japan, and it was part of the Kaga domain in the Edo period. え、The Lord of the Kaga domain was very keen on chanoyu um, the tea ceremony and due to that influence uh, Toyama has been um Toyama practiced them um, a lot with wagashi. And this um actually incidentally um the tea I made this tea ball in the picture. Toyama, so Kagahan, Ochano, Bunkao, Sebonenishte, 
、えー、場所的に京都と江戸東京のお菓子の文化の両方、えー、内側に秘めながら、えー、独特のお菓子文化を育んできました。Its own tradition of wagashi from both influenced by Edo and Kyoto. Wagashi no Miyokno Hitots to Ste, Wagashi no Namae to Yunogarimas. And one of the appeals of wagashi is the names given to them. Kono Hana wa Kiku no Hana nan deske de domo, Kiku ni wa Ayen to Yu Imi ga atte, Sen no Dai o Miru Ksa to Yukoto de, Ano, Ome de Tai to Hitoka. 永遠に続いてほしい結婚の記念日とかに使われることが多いです。And this confectionery is modeled on chrysanthemums, and the alternative name of chrysanthemum is chiomigusa, as listed here, and it means、um, that this plant will see thousands of generations,、um, which signifies eternity. Therefore, this type of confectionery is served at a lot of、um, celebratory. Functions on also weddings,、um, which people would wish for it to last forever. The Okashi no Namae ga Hijoni Juyo na Tende, Imako sets me stein this kerdom, Tatoeba kono Momiji no Okashi o Tsukta to Shimas. And I want, to exper-、um, I want to explain a little bit more about the importance of names、um, given to Wagashi. For example, if I were to make confectionery modeled on、um, Japanese maple, such as these. このお菓子に例えばモミジという名前をつけるとただのモミジになってしまいます。If I were to name those,、um, these wagashi just simply as Japanese maple or momiji,、um, it just would end there. ですが、このお菓子にですね、例えばウエストンバートですとか。But if I were to give them alternative names such as Western Bart, あと、キューガーデンズという名前をつけると、or Kew Gardens, for example. そうすると皆さんのこの場所での素敵な思い出とか、えー、何か記憶に残ることがよみがえって、このモミジのお菓子がモミジ以上の意味を持つようになります。These wagashi would give even more meanings and depth to all of you because it would conjure up the memories that you may have experienced in these places and Kew Gardens, for example. お菓子はですね、五感で味わう。芸術というふうに言われています。和菓子 is being said that it is a confectionery that is to be enjoyed with all five senses、えー。まずですね、えー、お菓子は見た目から入って、えー、名前を聞いてイメージを膨らませて、えー、切った時の手触りですとか、味、香り、五感すべて使って味わっています。When you first enjoy wagashi, You go in, you take that in with the,、uh, the beauty, the appearance with your eyes. And then you would think of the names given to them and conjure up the images. And then you would enjoy the texture when it's cut. And then you would put it in your mouth to enjoy the taste. And then experience the full aroma when you're biting into it. Okashi no. 和菓子のですね特徴としてはその伝統と革新というものは創造性と革新性というものがあります。The importance of wagashi is linked to the tradition behind it, but also creativity and innovation that would come with it. それではですね、創造性よりも今,今日は革新性についてお話ししたいと思います。Today I will be focused on innovation behind wagashi. これはですね、あの日本ではすごくスタンダードな。桜餅というお菓子になります。And these two that are listed on this slide、um, is、um, called Sakura Mochi,、um, Cherry Blossom Cake,、um, that is renowned in Japan. とても古典的なお菓子なんですけれども、これは桜の葉っぱをお餅に巻いて作るお菓子になります。And these are very historical.、Um, as you can see, the rice cake is wrapped with the cherry blossom leaves. このお菓子は今ではもう日本人は全員知ってるぐらい、えー、有名なお菓子なんですけれども、300年前にもしこのお菓子が発売された当時のことを想像してみてください。And、these mochis are extremely renowned in Japan, as I explained.、Um, any Japanese person would recognize these. But let's cast our imaginations to 300 years ago when these are first introduced.、えー、桜はですね、花が散った後に葉っぱが出ますので、えー、この葉っぱが出るんですけれども、この桜餅は桜の花が咲く前に食べるお菓子になります
And cherry blossoms, um, you it, it's extremely renowned. Um, you all know how the blossoms look, but the leaves come out after the blooms are gone. And but these cakes are eaten at the time of when the flower is in full bloom. つまりまあ去年の葉っぱをですね塩に漬けたものを洗って次の年え巻いて食べるお菓子ですね。What that means is that people would have picked the leaves、um, when the leaves came out and then salted them and preserved it and then used it at the time when the next year when the flowers were in full bloom。多分ですね最初に見た人はこれ本当に食べれるのかとか、えー、大丈夫なのとかいろいろ心配にされながら販売したと思うんですけれどもその挑戦のおかげでこのお菓子が定番のお菓子に育ったと思います。I'm sure the initial reactions were Can you actually eat last year's leaves? Is it okay to use this, eat this, or even sell it?、Um, but people have overcome those concerns and the rice cake became popular. Um, and due to those challenges that were taken by artisans, it is enjoyed still to this day.、えーねね、so it is linked to the innovation、uh, because they have、um, been innovative in the usage of the ingredients.、えー、表現や形の挑戦としてこのウグイス鳥緑色のお菓子ですね。これはあのウグイスという鳥を表しています。There are, there are innovations seen in both shapes and the colors used in Wagashi.、Um, you can see the middle one in green, and that is in the shape of Japanese bush warbler.、えー、とても日本人の好きな鳥なんですけれども、これも多分最初に作ったときは、その鳥を作って食べるなんてかわいそうとか、えー、そういう意見もたくさんあったと思います。And this Uguisu, Japanese bush warbler, is extremely popular amongst Japanese. But when it was first made into Wagashi, I'm sure people thought, oh no, you can't shape bird into a confectionery.、Um, I can't eat this. It would just be poor bird. I mean, that would probably would have been the reaction. But I would imagine that the artisan who first created this in the shape of Bush Warbler is、um, probably. They wanted to create something that was sweet and、um, wanted to signify the beauty of the bird shaped into Wagashi. I'm sure after I've gone through my training and、um, developed the skills for it,、um, I wanted to create Wagashi in the shape of something that is.、Um, Sweet and beloved、um, by everyone. So I have,、um, this is one of the examples of Maneki Neko Beckoning Cat.、えーねね、and these are the results of my challenges、um, that, were, that have come in、um, from the requests of the,、um, my customers. And these are some of the examples. それと日本の伝統的なものだけではなくて、海外の西洋の文化も取り入れて、ハロウィンですとかクリスマス、そういったデザインも作っています。And my、um, inspirations are not limited to only Japan and its traditions.、Um, I have taken inspirations from、um, other cultures,、um, from the West, for example. And these examples here、um, are based on Halloween and、um, Christmas symbols. かわいくないですか、um, you, you <笑>えー、こういった挑戦もあったり、こちらのお菓子は非常に伝統的な見た目に見えますが、えー、スパイスを使ったり、えー、ウイスキーを使ったり、えー、いろんなピスタチオを使ったりということで、新しくお酒に合わせたり、えー、コーヒーに合わせたりできるお菓子として仕上げています。But、um, in fact, I have used some unusual spices and whiskey, for example, and a pistachio、um, instead of other more traditional nuts as well. And I wanted them to be paired with、um, alcohol as well as coffee. こういった挑戦を繰り返しながら、えー、伝統ということについて、えー、深く考えてみたいと思います。And it is my 
lifelong task to really take on these challenges. Um, but as I take those on, I do think about what tradition means. え、先人たちの挑戦のおかげで僕たちはその和菓子を作り続けられていて、それはこう林業のようなもので、自分も挑戦していかないと次の世代の和菓子職人たちが、え、次のチャレンジができなくなると思って、現在も挑戦を続け
くぼみをつけて花びらを表していきます。Dense, um, create, um, まず一つ目はこの菊の花ですね。えー、この花は、えーえー、ともえ型といって二つのものが離れないという意味を持つ、えー、デザインになっています片方は白地に赤色で片方は、えー、紫というか青と赤になっていますね The other side with blue and red. えー、日本とイギリスそれぞれの国旗の色を表していて、菊は永遠を表しますし、この2つの共え型っていうのは離れないという意味がありますので、えー、今日のイベントを機会に日本と山と、えー、イギリス、ロンドンが離れないようなお付き合いになると嬉しいと思って考えました。And each... It has a meaning of both、um, colors of the flags of both Japan and the UK. Red side is Japan and red and blue is、um, the UK and in the Tomoe shape, as I explained. So it is with my intention of both countries' long prosperous relationships together, as well as、um, people being more interested in Toyama Prefecture. <laughs> ではもう一つ、えー、菊の花で今度はハサミを使ったちょっと変わった技法のものを作っていきたいと思います。Um, next, And now I am creating a gradation with both purple and white. この丸い玉からお花を咲かせたいと思います。And I will make、um, this Circular shape and sphere bloom into flower. まず最初に、えー、花のしべをつけていきますね。Like、the stamen, um, the the でここからですね、このお菓子を作る用のハサミがあるんですけども、これで。花を咲かせていきたいと思います。And I will turn this into a flower and with the special scissors that is used for confectionery. お花の真ん中から作っていくので、まず花びらは小さく切っていきます。And I always work from the center when I create flowers, so、um, I would start cutting、um, from the center, but in a very small part. これでまず一段目ですね。And this is the first layer. 見えますか大丈夫ですか Can you see? Can you see?、Okay. <笑>細かいものを作っているのでちょっと見にくいです。Yes, 2段目いきます、ね detail, so. 2段目は少しハサミを開いて花びらの大きさを先ほどよりも大きくして一周回っていきます。And the second layer will be slightly bigger than the first layer.、Um, you can see the petals a little bit more pronounced. それで2段目ができて、次3段目いきます。Layer, and and ですね。That's the third layer done. では最後の段を4段目切っていきます。And this is the last layer, the fourth one. どうしたほうが見えますか Can you see that? 見結構見えますね。はい。本当はこのテーブルの近くで見ていただきたいんですけども、今日はちょっとカメラの方で
ご覧ください。I wish you could gather around the table to see it very closely, um, but、um, yes, please see it on the over the screen. ちょっと片げにくいので、このこのくらいまででどうでしょうか。Yes, so this、um, can you see okay? ありがとうございます。Thank you. ではこの後はですね、先ほどお話ししていたように、皆さんの中からリクエストをいただいて作ってみたいと思います。Next,、um, yes, as Simon mentioned, we would like to take on requests、um, from you, the audience. Does anybody have a We have somebody at the back. Maybe we can get a microphone to you. If you keep your hand up so we can see where you are. Thank you.、Uh, London Autumn in the Rain. Oh. Not on a quack, I must go. Oh, she's a little bit of 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 a l i Um, it might be a Japanified version of London Autumn in the Rain because. えー、白地にちょっと3色の色を,色を入れまして。OK、So I am using the white base and put three colors in. なかなか素敵なリクエストをいただいてありがとうございます。Thank you for such a lovely request. まずベースの形はこういう感じでいきたいと思います。So, this is the base shape. So, I'm going to put it in the middle. Okay. 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 できましたよいしょ。はい。こんな形で読めますか、yeah. Can you see? ちょっと、えー、ちょっと見にくいですけど。It's harder to see, but... はい。OK、えー。このデザインの意図はですね、日本の学校ではチャイムが鳴るんです、ベルが。でその元になっているのがビッグベンの鐘の音と言われていてこの秋のもみじと雨の中を雨の中をそのビッグベンの鐘の音が鳴っている様子を表しました雨のメロディーという名前にしたいと思います<笑>、um, In Japanese schools,、um, a lot of the hours are signified with the chime, ここ the sound of the chime and it is being said that those chimes are modeled on the sound of Big Ben actually、um, So I Imagined、uh, there is Japanese maple、um, leaves、um, in the rain、uh, with the, the sound of Big Ben、um, playing. The, and so this is. What am I doing? Ame no melody. Okay, so、um, I will name this、uh, Melody in the Rain. ね、and you saw the fine line,、um, and I 
put that in to represent rain. And that is the technique that is used in Japanese um, traditional art. Um, Hiroshige used it, for example. <laughs> Are we okay with time? We've got plenty of time, so I'm sure somebody <laughs> might have a, have a... If you could put your hand up, we might... Uh, yes, we have somebody in the middle. If you could keep your hand up, please, so we can get the microphone to you. <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I wondered if you could make a swan. Oh, okay, thanks. Yes, sure. じゃあ白鳥を作らせていただきます。オッケー。イエス、アイウィル<笑> Okay, yes, um, I am now, I have begun. Okay, so um, I'm using the white base and just put blue in the middle. ベースの形はこれですね。オッケー、そうです。で、今度はですね、この絹の布巾を使っていきたいと思います。ネクスト、アイウィル、フォーディスワン、アイウィル and it, it just um it, it just only takes a moment, so please um have a look. Okay, can you can you capture this in the camera, please? Sorry for so many requests. But... <laughs> oh, that's great, thank you. Okay, so it will please um yeah, we're ready. Everyone ready? Oh, you can't see. Oh, no. Sorry. One, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> and then you take it off very gently. The swan has been born. Can you see? How, what's the best way to display it? This way? This way? Oh, and I would like to call this a migrating bird. Because I am a migrating bird myself, and which has ended here, landed here today. <laughs> that was so quick. Hi, do the show. Yes, um, how are we doing? Hi, uh, or you can't take any, you can't take any, but I've got lots of time. Is your tunnel, that you say, Moisture, Mr. There we go. So we, if we keep our hands up, yes, there we, we have, you, you did have your hand up a lot, some time ago. Thank you. Just over here. Um, can you make a snowflake? Oh, oh. oh okay. Oh, that's a great request. Um, seasons to come from now. Okay. Yes, I will make the snowflake. So um, the base is white. Three dents in the middle. And one is filled with, um, all of them are filled with blue, a purple.
comes to the cross. I wrapped it around with more white. And this is the base, as you can see. And I have added some lines and start cutting in the with the scissors. Okay, um, it's done. And the name is Utahime Toshimas. Utahime, Utta no Ohime, some other Utahime. Utahiragana, no, this is no one must have to be at the night. Okay, but yeah, but um, I'm going to call this Utsuta Princess, um, yeah. and I, Utsuta is in hiragana in Japanese symbols. Um, it is yet to be translated. It is yet to have carry the meaning, but it is Utsuta Princess. Fuyu を連れてくる神様と言われていて、春は佐保姫という姫がいて、夏は筒姫という姫がいて。um, actually, it does have a meaning. Um, Utsuta Hime is um in the is the princess that brings in brings the winter. Um, so uh, there are four princesses that are believed to exist in the seasons in Japan, and Utsuta Hime is one of them. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, so it, it's uh, quite similar to maybe um, think of Frozen, for example, maybe Anna, um, <laughs> the princess uh, who have brought in winter, or Elsa. でもそれって多分皆さんの中では神話だったりとか物語でもあると思いますから世界共通だと思うんですけれども、ま、和菓子にもそういうものがあるっていうことを知っていただけるととても嬉しいです。とても素敵なお題いただいてありがとうございます。
and the base um, is the mixture, um, the, the white paste um, is essentially is made with um, white azuki beans, but also um, white, um, white um, beans, white bean, um, as well as uh, rice flowers, お米の粉ですね。いや、ミクチャーオブザウズ。え、色はバーベリー。Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we have another question? There, that came from online as well. There was a, a similar question online. So I think we've answered that. Does anybody else have another question here? I have one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us your tools or talk about your tools, please? Ah, so this name. え、これ僕の道具箱なんですけれども、漆塗りの道具箱。あとは、あ、大丈夫ですか？あとはこれはですね、竹でできたいろんな形の道具があります。Yes, of course. Um I have these tools made with bamboo um in various shapes and they're all kept in my uh, toolbox um which is made um which is covered with urushi lacquer. こんな感じですね。ちょっと難しいかもしれない。ちょっと難しいかもしれない。ちょっと難しいかもしれない。ちょっと難しいかもしれない。ちょっと難しいかもしれない。ちょっと難しいかもしれない。ちょっと難しい
And I have worked with uh, craftspeople um, who create these tools, but also I have um, made my own tools as well. What was your vindicates of thumb? Um, this one, I've actually, um, I made it with sharpening the wood. It's very fun to make tools, in fact. And so I enjoy um, creating a lot. And now, um, yes, I have the first tier tools as well as the second tier tools, which I use less often. Um, so, of course, wagashi making is my profession, but um, these tool making is um, perhaps becoming part of my hobby as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're amazing tools, aren't they? Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I think that's all we've got about time for right now. Thank you very much to Hikayami Yasuhiro. Thank you so much indeed. What an amazing presentation. And showing us those wonderful tools as well. I've never seen such fantastic tools in before. Marvelous. Thank you. Also, thank you to Yokota Mika, Mika, Miki from, uh, from Toyama Prefecture, to the Japan National Tourism Organization, and to our interpreter. Thank you very much indeed, Air Kurosawa. Thank you. Thank you to everybody here and to everybody watching at home. And if you'd like to listen to today's talk, again, a recording of the event will be archived on the Japan House. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and X platforms. Also following this event, representatives of Toyama Prefecture will be providing travel information outside in the lobby until about eight o'clock. And uh, brochures will be available to help you plan your next trip. This event uh, is a part of Toyama Week here in London with a number of events, uh, including a pop-up confectionery shop at Pantechnicon and also another talk at the Daiwa Anglo-Japanese Foundation, both here in London. So there's another chance to see Hikiyami-san again, if you so wish. Once again, thank you very much indeed. Hikiyami Yasuhiro, thank you.